Well, development plans are underway for the old Razorback Golf Course in Fayetteville. Our Caitlin Zollner is in the studio this morning. And Caitlin, you found out what will be done with the land in this week's U.S. We Investigate report. Yeah, Tavares, the old Razorback Golf Course was purchased in 2017 by KTB Limited Partnership. Craig Underwood, the owner of Underwood's Fine Jewelers, owns that company. I spoke with him last year about acquiring this land, and he told me he and his wife purchased the property because they felt it was going to be a good long-term investment. At the time, he told me there were no development plans for the property, but that recently changed. Uh, as far as developable land in Fayetteville, that's some of the most desirable. The Fayetteville City Council voted unanimously in July to adopt a commercial planned zoning district for the property. If you've spent any time in West Fayetteville, especially Northwest Fayetteville, you know that there are a lot of services lacking. Jonathan Kurth is the development review manager for the city planning division. He says the plan will allow for a 602 unit apartment complex and some commercial development, which could include office space and restaurants. There's not much in the way of uh, restaurants or grocery stores or, or anything of that nature. And, and being able to provide those closer to all those residences up there can uh, get them out of their cars or at least reduce their car trips. A big park is also coming to the property. It'll be roughly twice the size of Gully Park. For every unit of residential housing you provide, you either have to pay a parks fee in lieu to, to pay for programming and, and for the park system in that quadrant of the city, or you can dedicate park land itself. The Underwoods have elected to dedicate the park land rather than pay the fee. A timeline for when work could begin on all of this has not been released. For those of you who have concerns, I am told there will be chances for the public to provide feedback during each phase of development. If there's something in your community that you want to know more about, we want to investigate it. Send your questions to me at the email address on your screen or on social media. And watch KNWA every Wednesday to see my You Ask, We Investigate report.